Traditionally, it can take a lot of rounds and a lot of distance to measure your BC. But today, we're gonna show you how to use a Garmin Zero or two to measure your BC at mid to short range. And we could literally take one tenth the ammo. A couple of things you're gonna need in order to make this work. So obviously you're gonna need not just one Garmin, but two. You technically can do it with one Garmin, but it will be less effective. What you'll have is a Garmin at the muzzle, meaning on the table, not mounted to the gun, just on the table somewhere. The next Garmin needs to go down range at about 250 to 500 yards away. Personally, I like to be about 350 to 450 yards, except if I were doing rimfire, it would be closer to 150 or so yards. And Garmin has a really cool feature called downrange mode built into this now. Go down to our settings, scroll down to pro settings, and at the very bottom, you'll see downrange mode. Range. And the only thing I need to do at this point is start a new session. Gonna, I'm just gonna do the standard thing. Rifle mode, I'm gonna, I know that it's gonna be, and this is important, but if you know approximately the speed that you're gonna be crossing the downrange Garmin, you need to make sure you set that appropriate mode. So the window here, we know we're gonna be above 1700. So I'm gonna use the 1700 to 5000 range. And now this is ready to start tracking in downrange mode. All right, so we're downrange. There's a couple important things here. We're gonna be shooting past the Garmin, but we don't need to shoot steel other than to just verify that we have the right windage and the right, right elevation so we don't end up shooting <laughs> the actual Garmin. And we've already ranged from the hill to the face of this and we got 498. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna set this back. There's our firing line. We're gonna come back one and a half yards so we get to 400 even. And it doesn't really matter how high it goes, but we do want to get as much bullet flight beyond it, about at minimum of about 20 yards, but realistically, let's call it 40 to 50 yards. You want a clear distance into a berm. So I'm gonna just stand on this side. Now I gotta go, there's my bench. So I'm gonna change this and reverse aim this system. Put this up a little higher. Just reverse aim this. And I mean, I'm being relatively coarse or crude. All I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm, like you would aim this at 100 yards, I'm gonna aim it right. backward towards my target, but facing me instead of facing it. I want the screen showing our to our bench. So in doing that, now that's locked, that's set, all these are tight, and this can't move, can't go anywhere. There's one really important step. You need to get all of the environmentals for the time that you are shooting. So right before we pull the trigger, what's the temperature, what's the pressure, what's the humidity? It's because that can affect drag. So I'm gonna spin my Kestrel while I'm here at this target to make sure I've done that beforehand, right before I turn this on. So I've spun my Kestrel, we update our live. We got it, it's 81 degrees here. And now I make sure, do I have the right gun profile? The answer is yes, I do. So now I'm gonna turn this on. Garmin Zero, new session, enter rifle mode, 1700 to 5000. We're ready to track. We know your gun is capable of shooting 0.1 groups. If your gun was a three tenths gun or a one MOA gun, I wanna get at least one MOA and a little bit further to the left of that. Right. So in this case, we're gonna dial it left or whatever side we need to in order to make sure that the bullet are, ends up about half a mil downwind of the Garmin Chrono downrange. There you go, and now you see it flashing? Yep. Yep, so we're gonna wait for that to be done. There you go, and ready for the next one. And flashy, flashy. So Kenny, we're here at the workbench. We already grabbed muzzle velocity. We grabbed the chrono from downrange. We have each session, we need to access it via history. So we're gonna go into history. This is the one we use here at the muzzle. This is the one we used downrange. And I wanna go into shot list. So for the most precision, I tend to do it shot by shot. If we wanna do this just on the average, to show you the fast way, if we go back one screen, let's go to the session summary. There you go, you have an average and I have an average. So we could say at the muzzle, your average velocity was what? 28? 28, 28, 31. 31, all right. 31.2. We can't use anything more than that decimal. We're just gonna round up or round down. And down range, and this specifically is at 400 yards. Our down range was at what? 2252.6. So we're gonna call that 2253. So 2253. That means that what we should do, we already took environmentals. If you can, let's pull up your profile and I want you to just check your gun inputs. And I want you to set your muzzle velocity to this average. Okay, 2831. Here we go. And now, back up one. And now we're gonna go down to the ballistics tab. 
and we're gonna go down until you get to remaining velocity or rem v there you go rem v it says you should have had based on that bc 2251 as your remaining velocity and what does it say here 2153 is what we rounded to so based on that you were technically should have had a little more velocity you did have more velocity remaining than what you show here so that means we can go back now we're going to make it match we're going to go up to your gun and let's just add go to your bc so here's bc let's go from 288 to or 287 let's go to 288 and then we're going to go down to ballistics check rem v again There we go, 53 and 53, and 53 matches. 53. Just using the average, we got that. Now, if you repeat this, using the shots individually is 0.2872. What was the number that you trued your BC to? 287. 287. That's so pretty incredible. I can't believe it came out to exactly the BC I had. Yeah, that's incredible. Pretty cool.